Let's say I wanted to replace every instance of the name Alice in this text with another name. First, I'm going to select the word Alice and copy it to my clipboard. I like to copy the text I want to replace so I can make sure that I'm telling Illustrator exactly what I want it to find. I'm not a very good typist, so I copy when I can. I'll go up to the Edit menu to Find and Replace, and now I'll paste that name into the Find field. Then I'll change the name to, let's say, Sheila. I can also choose to have Illustrator match the case of the word, so here it would only look for the word Alice in title case and not lowercase. I can choose to have it check the hidden and locked layers for my word, and that's handy because sometimes you forget that you have layers locked or hidden. You can choose to search for whole words, so for example, if I were searching for the word Sheila, I could make sure that Illustrator would only find that whole word and not the word she, which is contained within it. I can also have it search my document from the end to the beginning by checking Search Backwards. So I'll click Find, and Illustrator will find the first instance of the name Alice, and then I'll click Replace. And you can see that that name is replaced. And then I'll click Find Next, and now I can choose to Replace and Find, which means that it will replace that next instance and find the one after that. Or I can just go ahead and click Replace All, and Illustrator will replace every instance in my document and then give me a little report. And you can see that four instances were changed in this document. And now I'll go ahead and click Done. You can use Find and Replace for things other than words. So sometimes you get text from other sources, from the internet or from email, or somebody else has typed them, and they can have all kinds of weird punctuation going on in them. So for example, in this text, Rather than having the lines just wrap naturally, someone has put forced line breaks in them. So you see those little hidden characters that look like backwards L's with an arrow on them? Those are forced line breaks. And I want to take those out, so I'll go back up to the Edit menu to Find and Replace. And you can see a little drop-down menu over here, which gives me lots of choices for different characters as well as hidden characters. So for example, bullets and copyright symbols. And I'm going to choose Forced Line Break, and then in the Replace field, I'm just going to press my spacebar to replace that forced line break with a space. I'll go ahead and click Find and then Replace All, and you can see that 22 changes were made. So obviously this is something that you don't want to do by hand, and using Find and Replace can really speed things up. In the next video, we'll look at Smart Punctuation.